What do employers expect from post-secondary students in EL opportunities? Employers expect that post-secondary students in EL opportunities will be able to complete specific tasks safely, effectively, on time, and to a defined standard of quality. They expect students to successfully work independently and as a member of a team. Students should be able to respond to feedback, demonstrate growth and change, and contribute productively to projects. Ideally, students will be able to fit into the culture of the workplace and interact in positive, respectful, professional, and constructive ways with colleagues, customers, and clients. Selected employers become invested partners in the EL experience. While they cannot and do not expect students to be perfect, they do expect them to be fundamentally ready to contribute through their efforts, to take initiative, and to learn so that they will be better prepared to enter the workforce when their studies are complete. This specific course was designed to build on a second year course in which students learn foundational technical outdoor recreation skills like putting up a tent, how to light a camp stove, uh, how to dress um, appropriately for weather conditions and, uh, and rain and wind and those types of things. Um, it also, as I mentioned, uh, built on the programming class that they've had, and it also built on a foundational leadership class in recreation and leader studies that they've had in second year. So this uh, course was intended, it, it works as a scaffolding approach to building um, those outdoor leadership and outdoor technical skills. So certainly, I think always making sure that the projects are substantial enough that we're challenging the students. Uh, you know, we're trying to, through that graduate certificate level, trying to sort of increase levels of knowledge within, um, you know, Bloom's taxonomy, higher levels of learning. Uh, so we want students to ensure that they're being challenged. Uh, and there's a bit of a trust factor from the employer in uh, understanding that, yeah, I can hand over the reins to uh, these students, they can uh, manage these uh, initiatives and uh, we've had great successes. How I was able to look at what I wanted my students to get out of an experience. So I wanted them to learn about leadership. I wanted them to learn about uh, change management, to be able to think innovatively and creatively. Were all the things that I saw as the objectives for this course. And I wanted to do that in a practical way where they would actually get a real experience to see how that applied. So I had always been thinking, what could I do to really leverage that? And so then seeing the need in the community for quality improvement projects that incorporate all of those pieces, I saw that as a nice kind of natural linkage with the community partners to create the course. So I think for me, the key was is that here's the learning objectives I want, but what does the community need? How can I create a value you add but allow my students to achieve those learning objectives was really my kind of impetus for this course.